Hey guys, what is so much to have you guys here with me today? Okay, so I'm whispering because I'm hiding away from the girl. Hi mom. <laughs> they found me. Go downstairs with your sister, I'm vlogging please. No. No, go downstairs right now. Okay. Hurry up, out. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra and if this is your first time around, hello. Um, in this vlog, we are going to North Wales. This is our first time exploring Wales, so it will be fun. We're meant to be leaving at 1 at 11. returning subscriber i hope you have enjoying like the season so far it's been like super super busy super super crazy but we are finally at a point where we're just kind of like stopping everything and just trying to rest in between the chaos um so i don't know if you can already tell we are in a new place we real quick we booked a last minute getaway in the middle of nowhere so in this vlog i'm just going to be showing you guys like a real quick tour of the safari tent that's what they're called and it's so lush though like let me show you outside we are in the middle of nowhere well we're not in the middle of nowhere we're in north wales this is our first time like exploring north wales and it's so lovely it kind of reminds me of home i know some people have been like wales is kind of like new zealand and i and i kind of get what they mean now i understand um before i didn't really get it probably because i was like in the city cardiff city and so um yeah and it's just so nice like like the past week right i've just been off of my social i've been off social media like i've been on it but not like super on it like and I just needed the break, right? Oh, it's been like crazy. And I feel like because it was so busy, the last month was so, so busy. We have spent so much time away from home. And I was just at home with the kids during this pandemic. No one could really come over. I couldn't really like, without any restrictions. Uh, and so I've just like, I spent, I feel like the whole month I had to really just kind of just not put myself last but kind of yeah like i had to put myself last and just pour out into the kids even if i was tired even if i was like fatigued and all of that and then like all last week all these all my feelings and emotions just caught up with me and i was just like oh. but so now we're here we're just gonna like spend this time as a family it is a very rare thing where um wallace and the kids have a break at the same time the kids are on the last week of easter holidays and willis can you come out of there please marcina and willis is also on break um we literally booked this place on saturday morning and it's monday um so yeah i'm gonna give you guys a quick tour um yeah let's go so this is the hot tub this is honestly the main the girls love swimming so they also have an indoor pool but it's actually closed due to covid so this is the 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 front of the tent. so you walk in right you walk in this is the fridge and um this is a table inside and then this is the kitchen that's the kitchen right there the stove and they've got like um they've got everything in here so we can just cook at home because the restaurant is also closed because due to COVID. There's the plates and cups and things up there. Kettle, toaster thing. And then it is so toasty in here. I was actually really worried. I, I thought it was gonna be like super cold, but it's so toasty in here. Like because of that, it's, it's, it's just really lush. And then you have um, just a wee lounge and then we have this thing 
where Israel's at. And it's so lush in there. It's like a double bed. Oh my gosh, you can turn the lights off in yeah. there. So all the girls, they, they said they all want to sleep in here. And it's so funny because I know that Israel, when she watches vlogs and stuff, she always says like how she wishes she kind of had something like this in her room. So yeah, I can, I can understand why because it is pretty cool. And you can like close these, like they have these little doors. Babe, do you want to try and close it? Let's try and keep it closed so we can show the pattern. And so you've got like a little heart shaped thing there. And just a ladder where the kids can go up, you know. But this is really cool though. Look guys, when you walk in, like they have this like, um, I don't know, the center ceiling piece hanging. Um, just with some like artificial ivy and these just... And then this is the bathroom. Where's the light? Do you know where the light is for the bathroom, babe? Is it these? I think so. Oh yeah, and then this is the bathroom. Just a shower. I like it. And yeah, and then this is the mirror. This is the mirror. Um, yeah, and so like, can you feel that? It's an actual tent. Say hello, hello. And then these are super, super hot. Um, and then just a, a two single beds here. The girls coloring things that and then two windows there and the doors are like sliding doors so that's cool and i love that you can put your shoes there hang your coats there so it's kind of like out of the way and then this is the double bedroom i actually wasn't expecting this i didn't know how like glam it was but it's it is glamping isn't it so there's a robe there some slippers for wallace and i um and then yeah just a wee set up here and yeah that's it so it's just a nice little last minute getaway so yeah isn't it lush it's just so peaceful like but guess what apparently it's supposed to be raining tomorrow and really cold the next day so i'm praying to god that it isn't so Willis has gone up this road, he's going to get some stuff to fill our fridge and stuff. Um, so yeah, like they also, they also have like a games area. They also have a games, yeah they do, but it's closed because of COVID. So they have a games area, they had like badminton, a games room. Um, just all of these cool different things, they had an indoor swimming pool. But because of COVID, it's, it's you know, um, we're very restricted on what we can do. Um, so yeah, that's our little, that's my little mini, mini tour. I don't really have anything exciting going on in my life, but this seems quite exciting. So yeah, that's really cool. Just nice because it's just been like, it's been such a stressful time with my buddy and I. Um, and so yeah, she has been, this, no, no. So she has been, she's been asking to go camping for the longest time. So here you are, sweetie. Okay, here you are. This is the closest. And like Willis is not a camping guy. Oh, yeah. But yeah. That's really nice. I really like it. I don't think that we would like really enjoy it. But I'm just feeling so serene and so calm and things. It's, yeah. it's lush. Okay guys, so I'm currently texting dad. Because you will never believe what happened in the car. On our three hour drive. He was so tired, like he, he literally almost fell asleep on while he was driving. All our lives were at risk here and like, I was like, oh my gosh, mum, please drive, please drive. And he's gone to the shop and I'm worried about him because he's been gone for about like, I don't know, 10? 10, 10 it's only minutes, 10 minutes, babe. 10 minutes, you know? He clingy, he clingy be, daughter. He was going to, he said five minutes. Babe, babe, it's five minutes down the road. Five minutes down the road? Yeah, to drive there. Just message him. I'm messaging him and I'm seeing if he's okay because you never know. Just call him, I reckon, since you're so worried. We're going to call him. Okay. <laughs> you know, you guys are lucky to have a daughter like me. Yeah, of course I am. He's safe. He's not picking up. He probably thinks it's me. Just message him and say, Daddy, are you okay? I'm worried. Why did you? He doesn't get notifications on his WhatsApp if you call him on there. You need to call his actual phone. Oh. 
Okay, he is not. Uh, okay, I'm so worried. I'm so worried. Worry about nothing but pray about anything. Oh my gosh, do these ones even have hot water? No way. I thought. Are you serious? But he's answering. The water is freezing. Okay, I'll just. He's not answering. I don't know what I what I should do. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Dad, please. Please hurry up. Active seven hours ago. I'm gonna call his messenger. Oh, yes! Oh, he answered! Oh my gosh! I just want where are you? Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Um, where are you? I'm just in the shop, that's why. Oh, okay, I just wanted to check up if you're okay. Yeah, I'm just getting some stuff for... Uh, some snacks and... Okay. That's How many minutes are you here? Are you serious? I'm probably here. Another 15 minutes. Come in, breathe! 15? Yeah. Let him breathe! Okay. Alright, okay. <laughs> bye. Okay, drive safe, okay? Yeah, bye. Okay, bye. Oh, and it's messenger he answered. Probably because it actually shows up. That's right. <sighs> He's alive! <laughs> Screw! Okay. Anyway, woo! Oh my gosh, this is so cute. That is so cute. Woo! He answered. He finally answered after six minutes. Oh, finally. Oh, Apple. Yo, Apple? yo. Having fun. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Shh, whisper. Everyone's still sleeping. The birds are awake, though. Can you hear them? Look, it's been snowing. Look at it, it's been snowing. Oh, is this hail? Okay, I found the sun, so I'd have to go somewhere around there. 
I'm gonna try and figure out, well, I'm gonna look online, see where I can watch the sunrise. But anyway, I'm gonna quickly update you guys. So much happened in the last season, which, which it's all great and stuff in like such a huge answered prayer. So I think all my inhaling and exhaling and practicing that self-control, honestly, it was like mentally draining and mentally like exhausting um and so like after the whole campaign had finished like i feel like i was being so strong throughout that time just like putting the kids first and stuff like where i just kind of like went in this rest mode but i got to this point where i was just like i cried and i was like you guys are like saying this to my family like to my husband and my kids and i'm like you know like i'm taking care of you guys you guys need to think about me as well like i can't just pour out and pour out and pour out of my like ears and nostrils like i can't like i can't i need to rest and so like um and wallace he does such a great job like when you know wallace and i are on our own he'll just i mean when wallace is home like he's so amazing with the kids like he'll do a lot he'll do a lot and his body will be sore knackered he would be like fatigued and feeling lethargic and all of that um and so like this has been a this has been really great and because like i'm such a routine girl right like i love a routine especially like when i wake up I, I am an early person uh a early morning person um i just love like doing my quiet time having some me time like i am this morning um and so like i barely got that time like when i was with the kids like it'll be like late nights because i'll put them to bed and then it was like me time i'll be chatting to willis and stuff and then i'll be super tired i won't wake up in the morning and so my routine was like all over the place and so like just ha having this time where, we where i can just pause where we can just pause because like you know as a i don't want to call ourselves a rugby family as a family well <sighs> That is not my label, but that's what we're doing. And that's why we're here on this side of the world. Um, as a family um, who, like, ha so as a wife, like having a, having a dad or having a husband who plays pro rugby on the other side of the world when you're living with no family and stuff, um, it gets really tiring and I don't show how tiring and how hard it is especially for my baby especially for israel especially for Atu. it does suck having no family here and just seeing that i can't just call my mom and my aunties and my cousins over to like come and help out or you know or like i can't just kind of like send her over to to like mums or her first cousins to chill and hang i can't like my village is not here like i have my church family and they're so lush but like when you travel across the world and you're building from scratch like you're not like it's like your family is your family and it's just not the same as like your friends that you kind of just met yeah so like we have been really tired and i don't show it a lot especially my baby like there's things that i just like to keep private and stuff like i am sharing it but it's different when like just showing it in the in real time if that makes sense um yeah but she's she's growing up israel's growing up she's almost 13 she's like a she's like a little she's a tween she's gonna be a teenager soon and um yeah i've been literally been talking for 10 minutes oh my gosh i'm so sorry uh, this i'll probably cut it short to like three minutes or something but yeah let me know if you guys like it when i talk to the camera a lot because when i edit right and i see myself and i feel like it's too long like i'll just cut it super super short because i'm just like oh cringe like i don't want to like i don't know i feel like people get bored and just kind of click off so i'm just like oh i'll delete that but anyway yeah i'm gonna i don't know i don't really want to head back but the sun is kind of disappearing and it's cold i might head back have some breakfast so yeah Okay, you can't tell, but it's actually snowing. Come on, baby. So she's got snow in her hair. 
got snow on her hair. A well, Willis. She just got some news this morning. Um, Willis's good friend Matt. He is a journalist and a news. Is he a news? Would you say he's a news reporter? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, a, a, a news reporter is sports journalist. Um, he just did like a wee segment for One News back home in NZ in New Zealand. Series, and he just sent it to us, which is so lush. Comeback stories has taken Willie C. Halaholo from a dead end to a Six Nations title with Wales. It's been a whirlwind year for the father of four who was called into the Welsh squad through injuries. Matt Manukia caught up with him. Look at that building. So rich in history, eh? So there, the tea garden is here. Let's just go in here. Hey, girls. I wanted to come and see the little lambs. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, it is 7 o'clock, oh 11, 11am 11 and I'm about to cook. It is the 7th, the 7th today. just looking at a bit of history in Wrexham and there was like a revival that happened here in 1905 um, and it started at the church Penwell Baptist Church so I'm gonna see how far it is from here let's see how far it is away from here let's see where it is excuse me so we are going to see how far we are <laughs> from here, from this church, from this Baptist church. Mum, did you fart? No, I didn't fart. <laughs> L, L, one, four, one, A, N. We are like 10 minutes away from it. Let's go ahead, let's go check it out. Wills, can we please go to this church? Also, there is a Roman Catholic church, um, and it's called St. Giles or whatever, St. Gillies, or however you pronounce it. And it's one of the seven wonders of Wales, and it's right here, it's right there. Can you guys see it? I wish all these trees weren't in the way because it's actually quite magnificent. It is really huge. You cannot tell, but it's yeah, it's really nice. Creepy, super creepy, but Mom. looks nice. So it's a lot of like you open the door and then you walk old school buildings, the ancient. Oh, you don't call it ancient. Yeah. Yeah. What do you call these kinds of buildings? Well, why did you say what is that door? <laughs> we kind of just like randomly booked this place. We didn't know much of. We didn't know anything about Wrexham. So yeah, it's nice to just come through here. And it keeps you out of the cold weather. Do you know what a door is now? Holy shit! Did you No, this is. 
And so, yeah, we are on our way to the church. Right here. I read the article yesterday and it was, no, wait, yesterday or the day before and it was really interesting. It was really cool, actually. It was really, really cool. <laughs> All of these buildings. Lots of brick buildings. And they're like black and white. Oh, just like that house there. There it is! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's so amazing! That's right, Jan. Wow, that's so cool. So this is where the um, revival started. Oh my gosh, can I please go? So apparently, like, thousands of people would come here. Can you just imagine that? Thousands of people coming, fitting into this. Only thousands of people. That's a lot of people, but it gets better. The story gets better. See that? How cool is that, guys? Come though, what are you doing? Why are you getting ready to cross the road? Yeah, nah. So I'm quickly doing my makeup. I'm gonna actually close this because it's quite dark and you are not the best lighting. But I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys. Just have a quick day. We're gonna go out today. Um, where's my primer? Hey, I feel like I just brought my primer in here. Okay, hold on. Oh, here it is. Got my primer. And I was just like looking at my makeup. This is really I was just looking at my makeup and I was thinking, oh, I'll just show myself getting ready. So this is me getting ready. We're going to go to Erdig. Um, it's basically, I'll show you what it is. Because like, you know, obviously we're still, we still have a lot of restrictions here in the UK compared to like NZ. Like NZ have nothing. Um, well, next to nothing. I think they had like a three day, the last thing they had was a three day lockdown. We've had like... I think three or four lockdowns. to come through here um, and they've also got that's right you don't you don't I don't need it come on Do you want my so this is the entrance I have no idea it looks like this used to be like a barn for maybe like it looks like they would have kept horses or animals in here i actually don't even know i'm just literally guessing so yeah the girls have just gone toilet before we go hi guys so mum and stina and maria are out hunting for the easter egg hunt i'll show you the papers like the map thing to find it this is the map. Oh, hold on. Some people are passing by, so I gotta. I don't wanna talk, so just wait. Just bear with me.
So we're supposed to take a boat across like this this bridge right here. Zoom it in, babe. Uh, that bridge, but obviously it is closed due to because COVID. yeah. Now we're going across. Yeah. So we would have been going on that today, but it's closed. So these are the boats that like take you across the river. So right across. So can you see it babe? Can you see it forward? So that's where you go down, but that's a huge bridge. Whoa. Going oh, is forward. That the bridge? That's the bridge. That's scary. And that's the bridge that you and you go down there. So where does this water go? Down that way. Oh. And that way. Oh. But how scary is that guys? That's scary. Out. Right there. Come on, my darlings. No. no. I know. No. I know. Oh. So we're gonna say goodbye now. We're getting ready. Marcina's missing a shoe. We have no idea where her other shoe is. Um. Is that goodbye. No. It was very lush. Being here. Oh, Israel, you got lots of stuff underneath this bed that we're about to leave. Stina, you need to come in here and take some stuff out of here. Literally, hun, there's your bag we almost left here. Yeah. Your bag, your Cardiff Blues bag that we almost left there. Oh, where is it? Yeah, we can put in this last bit of stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, so there's some more stuff, Stina, that I need you to go one day and get. Come on, my darlings. No. no. I know. No. I know. Oh. So we're gonna say goodbye now. We're getting ready. Marcina's missing a shoe. We have no idea where her other shoe is. Um. Is that goodbye. No. It was very lush. Being here. Oh, Israel, you got lots of stuff underneath this bed that we're about to leave. Stina. You need to come in here and take some stuff out of here. Literally, hun, there's your bag we almost left here. Yeah. Your bag, your Cardiff Blues bag that we almost left there. Oh, where is it? Yeah, we can put in this last bit of stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, so there's some more stuff, Stina, that I need you to go one day and get. Um, yeah, so Safari, so this, like... Place, I think it's called. It's really lush. I haven't really showed you guys, but I think maybe I have. So, like these ones are the, like the modern tents, the glamping tents, and you've got like a spa pool in front of it. And then, like, can you see like those wooden houses over there? Um, they are like mod, really modern um, houses. So it's like it doesn't really have a glamping feel to it. And yeah, this is the morning. I really wanted to come and jump in the hot tub, but we're a little bit too late. So this is the morning. It's quite cloudy, but it's still very beautiful. Um, so I'm still in my pajamas. We are going to be going home um, now. I'm in my pajamas and it has actually been like super super relaxing. Oh my gosh, my hair's looking crazy. Let me just fix my hair. I'm gonna go put my coat on. Hey Wolf, go and say hello. So Wolf is just cleaning up. Can I jump say hello to really? jump up, What's up everybody? Uh, and here. And here, hey guys. Do I suit the these glasses or what? So I feel like um getting old my vision is a little bit nice um so yeah gonna tie my hair up um so our stay was it was quite lush uh, it was super super relaxing and i think that's what we needed and like i said there's a couple of things that we wanted to do but we can't do because of covid but i was really lush to just go around and learn more about our home um our new home wales i think i want to do more of this like 
we've traveled usually like I think we've been to Tenerife so that's a so we've been to Tenerife that's an island in Spain it's one of the islands Spanish islands and then we've been to Barcelona um, and then Mallorca and so this is the first time we have actually stayed in Wales um, due to COVID, but yeah, it's, it's been lush. Um, I'm gonna really miss this place. Yeah, I, I can now say that I've been to Wrexham. Um, the history here is pretty strong. It's been pretty lush. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, if this is your first time hanging out with us, um, subscribe if you like. Like this vlog. Okay, yeah, nah, that's not me. I don't, I don't, I feel so awkward saying that, but yeah.